Hello everyone, we will continue the topic Web Dine Pro ABAP and as a part of that, we are covering the topic inbound and outbound plugs. And in the previous videos, what we did, we created the Web Dine Pro component, we created the views, we designed the layout on the various views, we have written the logic in the assistance class method, we call the method into on action display. And now what we will do, and you can understand very well. So far, what we did from the practical part is just we created the application. As of now, nothing has to be done from the perspective of inbound and outbound plugs. As of now, we just created the application so that we can apply the inbound and outbound plugs into that. Suppose. If I will run this web Den pro application and that is mandatory because we need to create the application after that only I can apply the inbound and outbound plugs. I will just log in. So what we want to do whenever user will give the input, suppose I am giving material number one and click on to the submit button. Yes, on the submit button, we have the logic. Suppose if I will click on to the submit button. As of now, we are able to see the data from the Mara table, material type, industry sector, unit. Now, what the customer will do? Customer will click on to this button. Whenever customer will click on to this button or whenever user will click on to this button, it should navigate to view two and we will be able to see the data from MAKT table for this particular material number. Similarly, from the view two, we will again navigate back to the view one that is our main. So now ultimate target is we need to now navigate between main and main one, means between view one and view two. Now we will go for inbound and outbound plugs. Now, as of now, this button is disabled. You all know whenever I will create a action, it will become unable. So what I will do now, I will go for view one, which is our main. And you will be able to understand that now the real practical of inbound and outbound will start. So far in the previous videos to replicate inbound and outbound, we did these many things. I will go to change mode. I will just click on to material descriptions. Now I will simply scroll down. Now you will be able to see action on action, which is a part of event. Suppose I will quip simply click on to the action. Suppose I will give the action. Suppose my action name is suppose Matt D E S C material description. Suppose I will give that description to get the material descriptions. Now, as of now, we have not done anything related to outbound plug. Now on this button, I want to go for outbound plug because as we are going out from the main view, as we are leaving this main view, so now we need to create outbound plug. Why, why we are creating outbound plug? So that I can leave this particular view. I, 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 I will leave this particular view and I will go for the another view. So from this view, we will fire the outbound plug. If you remember on the submit button, we have not fired any plug because on the submit button, we just want to fetch the data from various tables. On this button, I want to go to the view too. So I need to fire the outbound plug here. So I will give some name to the outbound plug. And it is very important to give the proper naming convention so that there will not be any confusion. Uh, what I observe whenever people will do the practical of inbound and outbound plug, they gave some names, randomly gave some names. And at the last, it's very confusing. So especially in terms of inbound and outbound plugs, follow the naming convention. It is very easy to understand. Suppose from this view, I'm firing outbound plug. So what I will write, I will simply write out underscore main. Means 
आई एम फायरिंग ए आउट बाउंड प्लग फ्रॉम द मेन व्यू दैट इज माई व्यू वन आई विल गो फॉर ओके यस इट इज सेइंग आउट बाउंड प्लग डज नॉट एग्जिस्ट डू यू वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट यस आई वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट and after that i will show you this tab as of now nothing is in the outbound plug and i already told you yes whenever one topic will come we will cover the theory part also along with this i will go for yes now you can see button becomes enabled if i will go for outbound plug yeah you can see we have a entry in the outbound plug i will simply give that description outbound plug from view 1 and in the bracket i will write this is our main i will go for say now we will go for next point so what is the first step we did we did a outbound plug in the first view yes we created the outbound plug but there must be a corresponding inbound plug because without inbound nothing you fired outbound but there must be inbound also inbound will be in the second view so what i will do i will simply go to the second view this is your second view main one and here i will go to inbound plug tab and i will give some name to the plug inbound plug how i will give the naming convention please follow the proper naming convention as i am going for inbound plug so i will write in underscore what is the name of the view main one so in this view we are going for inbound plug so i will give the description inbound plug for main okay second and that is your main one i will simply go for say now you can see sap automatically created the event handler method anyways i will come on to this part okay so from this first view we fired the outbound plug and in the second view we have a corresponding inbound plug as of now we have not decided that for this out outbound this is the inbound we just defined now similar way i will go for the second view that is your main one now this is your second view similarly you can see we have this button material master data material master data whenever user will click on to this button it should go to the main view main view as of now this button is disabled so now i will simply create a action first i will click on to the action i will simply go to event okay so i just click here this is the button now you can see this is the action i will create this action now here i will give some name to the action it will take me to the main view means it will just display the mara details from the mara table so i will just write okay that was mat desc here i will write mat material master suppose i will write mat master so i will just go for to get the material master data material master data means the data from the mara table because that is your material master table now now from this main one i want to go to the main view it means here i will fire the outbound plug now in the second view on this button we will fire the outbound plug again follow the proper naming convention out we are firing a outbound plug from which view we are firing the outbound plug main one so i will write main but i will go for okay i will just create this outbound plug and you can see this button becomes enabled and now we have a entry here into the outbound plug tab of second now here i will give the description 
outbound plug for second view that is your main one now this is the outbound plug from second view it must be then it must be then there will be corresponding inbound plug in the first view so i will simply simply go to the first view and i will create a corresponding inbound plug just it's a proper definition itself if you are going for outbound there must be a corresponding inbound now in the second view we have a outbound it means there will be a corresponding inbound in the first view so but these are the first two steps which we are doing is now i will go for corresponding inbound in the first view proper naming convention i will write in underscore main in underscore what is the name of first view main inbound plug for first view this topic is very easy especially it will create problems for those who those who cram the topics if you are going by conceptual wise no problem at all yes and you can see SAP created the event handler method. Anyways, we'll see also. Now, I will simply, simply save this. Now, I will go to the display mode and I will activate and we will see up to this level. I will go for activate. Now, you can see up to this level what we did. We simply went to the first view and on this button, on this button, material description, we fired the outbound plug. And there is an entry here after firing the outbound plug. Yes. Now, we created the corresponding inbound into the second view. If I will go to this, we have a corresponding inbound in the second view. Similarly, from this second view, we fired the outbound plug onto this button, material master data. We fired the outbound plug. And there will be a corresponding inbound in the first view. There is a corresponding inbound in the first view. If I will go here, there is a corresponding inbound. Now see the important point in the methods. That will play a vital role. Just see. Now we have three event handler method. Previously, we have only one event handler method which we created on the submit button. We gave display and before that SAP added the word own action. This also you can understand fully. When we clicked onto this, we created the action onto which button? This button. And what the name of the action we gave on this button? we gave the name of the action mat desc it means sap will add the word on action before this and you can see we have on action mat desc because we have two buttons now you can see for the our outbound plug also sap created a event handler method sap created the event handler method and you can see now no not for the outbound i'm saying for inbound yes we have the inbound plug board. This is our inbound plug. I'm not sorry by mistake. I told outbound plug for outbound plug. Nothing. I'm talking about inbound plug for the inbound plug. What is the name of inbound plug in underscore main SAP created a event handler method. And what is the name of event handler method in underscore main? Yes, this is the name of your inbound plug and SAP added the word handle before that. Now, similarly, for the second view, we have an inbound plug in underscore main one. SAP added the word handle. And you can see we have a handle. We have a method handle in underscore main one. Now, for the inbound plug, SAP is generating a corresponding event handler method. There you can write the logic. You all know whenever we have a method, we can write the logic. And you can understand very, very well this on action mat master do not confuse with this this on action mat master is for this this particular button this particular button whenever you are creating some action onto the button sap generates a corresponding event handler method and the sap will add the word on action 
Now for inbound also, SAP is generating the event handler method and SAP is just adding the word handle before that. Important points, these all are. So what is the summary of this particular video? Actually, in this video, we can say we started with the practical part of inbound and outbound. Before that, we are just creating the base so that we can perform inbound and outbound plug. So firstly, what I did, I simply went for the first view on this particular button we want to fire the outbound plug because as we are going out from this first view, we are leaving this view. So we need to fire the outbound plug. So what I did, we simply went to this button. We created the action. When we created the action at that time, yes, SAP is asking, do you want to go for outbound plug? Yes, we fired the outbound plug and we created the outbound plug. After that, we are able to see the entry here. Now, whenever you are going for this, so SAP created the corresponding event handler method. This is your event handler method. Nothing. This is done up to this level. Now, we will go for our second view. Now, we fired the outbound from the first view. It means there must be a corresponding inbound in the second view. So, what we did? We simply went to this tab and we added in underscore main one. Please follow the proper naming convention inbound plug for main one. That is your second view. Whenever you are going for inbound plug, SAP automatically adds a event handler method. So this is the event handler method. SAP is adding the word handle before that. Now, after that, what we did, we went to the second view. Now on the second view, we need to fire the outbound plug from this button. So what I did, I simply created the action. Whenever you will create the action and fire the outbound plug, so you will be able to see the entry into this outbound plug here. Yes. And SAP created a corresponding action, corresponding event handler method for that action. Mat master is the name of the action and before that SAP added the word own action. Now, whenever we are going for outbound, there must be a corresponding inbound. So we simply went to inbound plug. We gave the name of the inbound plug. Whenever you are going for inbound plug, SAP generated a corresponding event handler method and SAP is using the word handle. So just never go with, with the confusion that for outbound plugs, there is no event handler method. This is for the inbound plugs, we have the corresponding event handler method. And you can understand very well, whenever you have event handler method, you can simply, simply write the code into those event handler methods. Now, next video is extremely important because as of now, we saw, we decided for this out, this is the in. For this out, this is the in. But we have not created the navigation link. So in the next video, we will learn how to create the navigation link. So that's it in this video. Thank you.